Thank you. Good morning. My name is Thomas Gutter. I'm the CEO of Green Pocket. Green Pocket is a cologne-based software company. So we heard a very interesting story about hardware. Now it's about software. And uh, what I will share with you over the course of the next 20 minutes is our vision of smart home software. And it's a lot of PowerPoint I'm going to show you. And we heard smart grid is a lot about PowerPoint and less about reality right now. Um, but we would like to invite you to our coming to our booth at D50 to show you our software live that you can test it. So as we heard, Smart Grid is about expectations and a lot about ambitions. We all have ambitions regarding energy efficiency. But in many cases, reality is a bit different. And all the governments in Europe, they have ambitions. They want to roll out 80% in 80% of all households smart meters. It's a clear goal, but we will see what reality will bring over the course of the next years. We are convinced that this will become reality, as it becomes, has become reality in all cars, that electronics, is a major part of a modern automotive. Um, we will see that electronic smart home compo components will be part of every modern household in 10 years from now. And there's a lot of things where you can steer and control your home in a better way. So Green Pocket is focused on delivering uh, smart home solutions and smart meter solutions to utilities. We are founded 2009 and uh, we're going to start and focus on customer-centric interfaces for users, starting with municipality utilities all across Germany. We managed to win more than 30 customers right now in Frankfurt, in Berlin, in Hamburg with Vattenfall, and also in some, some smaller uh, uh, cities across the country. And we also manage to win some more customers across Europe uh, coming up with trials and solutions around smart meter and smart home in Spain, in UK, and in Austria. So our footprint is based on the experience of more than 60 projects already live across uh, all angles and moments of smart meter and smart home software solutions. So how to engage the consumer? That is a very important question regarding this. So we think there are a lot of expectations from a consumer regarding his smart home solution. I like to control my home. That's important. I want to get transparency. I want to see the status of my home, my electric, electrical devices, my consumption. That's important. And what we see and what we learned also from, from this presentation is you want to have it done automatically. So it must be, it must work without the manual decision in the best case. It must support you automatically adapting, adjusting to your needs and to get the best effort and the best results for you. And what is very important, and it's in line with all the smartphone rollouts across Europe, we want to have it use, usable everywhere, remote, and at home. So what are the basic features? We need to have an easy to use configuration. It must be very easy. Uh, we want to have a home control. We want to get transparency. And we want to have automatism, automatic programs that helps me with my uh, features, my actors and sensors in my home. So all these basic features, they have to be included in the smart home software. And what is important anymore is to make it very easy to use then. So how could that look like? Look at this dashboard. It gives you on the top left-hand side an overview of your rooms, your living room, the uh, kids' room, the sleeping room, or your working room. And it shows you all the active actors and sensors in, zo in those rooms. We have tests right now with a home full of 75 different actors and sensors. 
but this will not be the start for most of the consumers. They're going to start with a starter package of four, five, even six, uh, distributing across uh, their rooms. On the top right side, you see the average consumption uh, and the comparison against average and the actual com uh, uh, consumption of your electricity of today goes down by 17 percent. And below, you find different programs, automatisms. You can use scenarios. So if you dig into the details, you move into a room, you can see the room temperature, you can see humidity factors, gives you a clear indication that is optimal, 53%. You have a motion sensor, so everything is quiet in this room. And you can see the heating and you can control it. You can dim it uh, and you can you reduce it and some more appliances that are steered by plugs and actors and sensors. So then have a look at the overview for your scenarios, automatisms. You can see your active scenarios on the left and top. You can see your active time plans, your time schedules for today or a daily business rule. And you can see also rules if then if window is open, heating thermostat goes down, and you can save energy. And you can define these rules, and these rules can be predefined, pre-configured in your software. And you can add a new action for maybe saving heating, because this is one of the major contribution contributor to your uh, overall uh, consumption in terms of money and cost. And you can add all these different scenarios to your personal time plan. Your personal time schedule may be started with an absent scenario. Uh, you are uh, at home uh, lighting. So easy ones and could be more complex as, as you like to do this. And you can add this to the days of the week you want. So you can manage your own smart home future, how you want to steer this. But we definitely believe in that this should be more and more automated to your needs and your behavior. So these are the basic f figures. An easy to use configuration that must be very easy. Availability of your smart home solution at a web, web portal, at a tablet solution for Android and Apple products, uh, iOS, and also for smart home solutions. It should be automation, including uh, transparency on your energy consumption from smart meter data could be included, and home control uh, should be possible. So what are the different consumer needs? And we, don't, we do have different expectations from consumers. We clearly see that we have this kind of comfort man type, a manager type who wants to use the latest technology for uh, automatic control of their home. It's maybe a bit of a geek freak, wants to have these nice new features using this with a tablet at home. We have the young mother of two kids. She has a clear focus on safety. She wants to make sure that her kids are safe and she wants to get alerts from her software if anything happens that is not in line with her expectations, maybe if she is at work. We have another client. Uh, he's focusing on efficiency. So he wants to have all the features in his smart home application that supports efficiency across his home. So energy efficiency is key for this gentleman. And we have the elderly people. And the customer, maybe in the first line, are not the elderly people, but the kids the son and the daughter thinking of giving their, uh, their uh, mom or their dad a degree of independency. They should live where they lived since 30, 40, 50 years sometimes, and they should enable them to live even more the next five years and not bringing them to homes where they don't feel welcome and they, where they don't feel that it is the surrounding they are used to live in. So smart home can support a lot with helping these people with elderly care 
by uh, a different set of features. So it's about innovation, effectiveness, emotion, performance, and for sure it must be an appropriate price delivered by uh, someone who brings all the complete package to the customers. And the benefits and satisfaction are around efficiency, safety, comfort, and care. But let's move, bring both packages together, the basic features and the individual benefits. And this should be supported, and this is all again, smart home can work and need software, but smart home is about hardware, is about a gateway in your home, is about actors and sensors. So what you need, you need to combine hardware and software to a convincing package that gives you the flexibility to work with it and to extend it. So our product philosophy includes these four elements. It should be everywhere, it should be user-centric, it should be easy, and last hand, it should be economic for the partners who bring these products to market. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. Otherwise, it would not be a success to the market. So easy, easy means easy configuration of hardware. Uh, software and hardware are integrated in, in convincing packages, predefined optimal patterns, uh, easy installation, easy acquisition of new packages, new, so new hardware parts, and uh, clearly uh, a convincing visualization, complete of, of, out of one hand. So how could that look like? Uh, if st uh, setup of your smart home solution should be quite easy. So you bring in, you pair your actors and sensors and they initially see, okay, there's some comfort concept, safety, and efficiency means based on that. So we have an automated setup, and that starts giving you the possibility to use optimal patterns. Optimal patterns are predefined software patterns, could be a time schedule, could be a certain scenario for using different actors and sensors. Based on what you have, you include the hardware, and the software gives you uh, some of those elements. It could start like this, a component, heating radiator, dimmer, a switch, and a window detector. That's a typical, it could be a typical startup package for a smart home customer using the first portion. And then you add it to certain rooms, like your living room or your bedroom. Or, and then you find out, okay, if I look at comfort, automatically it drops up that these programs are in your software and you can use them. You don't have to configure them because you are a lazy guy. Most of the consumers are lazy guys. They want to have automatic predefined software solutions. So good morning feature could be included, a good morning program. And then you add efficiency means. So some of the actors and senders can help you with an eco mode or a switch off or a night mode or an eco temperature program. You can select out of this package and safety included. Um, so you're gonna start with five types of hardware and you're gonna start with 11 different programs you don't have to define right from scratch. So it's predefined in your software automatically when you pair it with the hardware. That's the way how we think software, smart home <coughs> software should work. Make it, it quite easy, seeing definitely the benefits right from scratch and giving them a clear customer-oriented uh, touch point to start with. So an extension of your software should be the same simple solution. Just bring a new type of hardware to your software and then giving a clear indication in your software okay, what can you do, what kind of programs are alive with the new parts. Everywhere is mobile, context-related use scenarios. We, th we believe in mini apps. As an extension, you will have the basic software suite, but then you will add uh, mini apps for different reasons and different benefits. You have to work with different smartphones. We started right now with an HTML5 based software solution, so not native apps. So we des decided to go for this, which adapts to each uh, format in each uh, vendor. And this could include easy to use absent or I'm at home uh, solutions on off figures where you can 
work with all the actors and sensors in your home. User-centric means um, it should be should have the individual uh, individual screens like a bit of a different maybe you like this wooden type uh, of software solution or or a greener one. It should in integrate also social networks. It should give you the, f the possibility to share some of the results with other people if you like to, even participating in utility-driven uh, carbon dioxide competitions or contests. Economic is quite important, and it starts with the easy interface where you can integrate um, advertisement for eco-carbon dioxide reducing products like the smart grid washing machine we heard uh, from Indesit or other products that could be integ integrated in this kind of software because this is a new marketing channel for a utility. It's a new interface and you can integrate some more elements. You can share your achievements with, with friends via social sharing. Oops. And you can also, and this is also important, integrate shops, e-commerce platforms that gives you the easiest way to add a new actor, a new piece of hardware to your, to your smart home software solution. Because that is important. You're going to start with five, six types, items, but your home will work with 40, 30. But you will not initially pay uh, three, 4,000 euros for the whole installation you're going to start. That's, that's an natural starting point. And also on the software side, we all learn that nobody can make money with smart meter software because smart meter software gives you transparency and nobody is willing to pay for it. But we also learn that in the mobile data world, everybody is willing to pay for mini apps if they have a certain benefit and there is a market for. And why shouldn't you start with the smart home free solution and then adding a premium version with predefined uh, optimal patterns for your customer, and then add some mini applications adding to your software. And that could look like this. You have the solution. You have the choice, different options with different prices. And then you can add into your system new features and top mini apps. And this could be also, in the future, third-party apps integrated in the system. So we believe that qualities of appealing smart home software should include all these elements together. How does it fit together? We're talking about comfort, and we are talking about efficiency. Uh, there are persons who love to have comfort and safety. And we have the other people who are looking at efficiency and control mechanisms. And bringing this together, I try. Is the fusion of comfort and efficiency. Maybe you can support me. <laughs> when it's cold outside and go home, I like to have it warm and comfortable. I like to save money and heat our rooms efficiently. These are different uh, attitudes and these are different interests. How could we bring this together? The smart home software adjusts efficiently the temperature of every single room uh, according to a self-learning software that analyzes your preferences. So if you change your uh, temperature in certain rooms, it learns from your activities. We've seen those solutions. They are still live. Uh, individual timetables could support you in your individual weekly behavior. And the rules, so there are dependencies that could be possible, and this is possible, this is life. Um, we, can, we can show you how that could be worked. So automated he heating is nice, but temperature isn't everywhere to control, isn't it? I like to control my home. So an absent on off button, when you go out of home on all your 10, 20 actors and sensors go down, go off, or uh, reduce the temperature by a significant amount. And then you come back after three hours from your shopping tour in the city. And then you push the button again 
and then you see, okay, you saved three euro cents. That is nasty, that is nothing, that is tiny. But then it gives you an indication, okay, uh, this week it was one euro 20, or this month it was two euro 50, and over the course of the year it was 23 euros. That gives you a good feeling by pushing just one single button that works with the gateway to all the actors and sensors. It's not a big effort you have to do, but it's, it's like collecting points in every shop. So smart home and smart metering should be also integrated. That looks like this, so you can see the overview, you can see average, and you can get also into single devices and see uh, what is um, the cost of each of those devices or what is the consumption of your TV, of your fridge, of your washing machine to better get an understanding. And you con could bring this all together in your room steering. So what are the challenges of those projects? For sure, to start with an appropriate combination of software and hardware, we learned that you always have to start small with a small package. Your software has to have the right balance between functionality, easy to understand and transparency and complexity, the reliability of the system, yes it had to work, easy, uh, ease the concerns of the consumer, do the integration, and on the other hand side for all the utilities a lot of new chances to open up channel, uh, to increase the image, to improve the customer loyalty that could be done, and participate into uh, sustainability. So all these elements could be in your smart home solution. And I would love to discuss some of these elements and some of these ideas with you uh, at our booth in D50. Thank you very much for your interest. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Um, that's uh, very 